game of high stakes, where every decision is a gamble, and every move can be your last. Another edition of High Rollers, ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad you could be here once again. Now, uh, and uh, Alex, I know, is glad to be back with us again here, aren't you, Alex? I am, yes. All right, $60,537 for you uh, over two days as champion. And uh, do you think, do you have any plans so far for that money that you've, that you've earned? Well, I was actually done try to save some stuff. I'm about to buy a new video, a new video game console that I've always been wanting. Nice. If I may make a suggestion, get a PS5. <laughs> okay. Anyways, we're glad to have you here with us. And uh, challenging you today, he comes all the way from uh, the west coast of Canada, specifically the great province of Alberta, Dave Standish. Hello, Dave. Hello, Mark. Nice to have. Nice to be on. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Dave, we've been wanting to have you on here for ever since the beginning of the season. Uh, the schedules didn't exactly line up, though. But we're glad to finally be able to have you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm from Calgary, Canada, Alberta, Canada. I uh, I've been with MVG for about six months or so, and just really enjoying it. And uh, I do a lot of bar trivia. Hoping. Nice. All right, well, we wish you the best of luck, and here come the prizes for game number one. In call number one, we start on a trip to Australia and New Zealand. We have a car audio system, a bedroom group, and a pair of e-readers. An Audi A5 Cabriolet Ooh. worth over 53 grand. That call's worth 104961 Good Lord. Now, my one question is, Bells, what the hell did you do to the car to make it so expensive? Uh, anyway, uh, here's <laughs> call number two. A trip to Montego Bay. A 32-inch outdoor LCD HD TV. Some scuba equipment. 10265 for that. And call number three, a dining room group. A motor scooter. Flatware. HGTV and computer, and a trip to London. That call worth $19,361. Altogether, a very healthy $134,587. And here come the numbers. And no hawk on for this first game. Aw. All right, you're going to have to earn these the hard way, players. Uh, Alex, you're the champion, so, uh, so uh, you're going to have the Z key on your... Uh, buzzer for uh, when you buzz in here on the buzz man and uh, Dave you'll have the M key okay all right so here is your first question and this one's multiple choice OJ Simpson Walter Payton Gail Sayers who scored the most touchdowns in his rookie season in the NFL that's time it was Gail Sayers. All right. All right. Written by Sun Tzu sometime in the 4th century BCE, this famous book on strategy is the oldest military treatise, or treatise, I don't know how you pronounce it, in the world. Time. The art of war is what we're looking for. Well, uh, we're going nowhere fast to uh, start off here. All right, let's try this one. The original title page of Jonathan Swift's Gulliver's Travels reads, Travels into several blank nations of the world in four parts by Lemuel Gulliver. And it's remote. Okay. True or false, the French artist Seurat was the subject of the Broadway musical Sunday in the Park with George. 
Alex. I'll say true. That is correct. All right, go ahead and roll, Alex. You have a five to start off. Just the five uh, by itself, please. All right. What disco diva sang the hit Hot Stuff? Was it Gloria Gaynor, Grace Jones, or Donna Summer? Alex again. Yeah. That'd be Donna Summer. You are correct. Go ahead and take another roll. All right, let's roll them. Seven this time, Alex. All right, uh, give me the six and the one. All right, the six and the one is. All the numbers are still good. And here is your next question. What college bowl game is called the granddaddy of the ball? Dave. The Rose Bowl. Rose Bowl. The Rose Bowl is right. And Dave, you get to take your first roll because all the numbers are still good. All right, shoot. Seven. And there's a couple ways you can do this. Uh, well, the three and the four. Okay, well, that's going to give you call number two. So well done on that one. But of course, as you know, you have to win this round in order to be able to keep those prizes. The inscription on the wall above the statue of Abraham Lincoln at his memorial in Washington, D.C. begins with these words. In this blank, as in the hearts of the people. Time. Temple. True or false, from 1930 to 1950, the Soviet Union banned table tennis because authorities believed the sport was harmful to people's eyes. Alex? I'll say that's true. That is indeed a true statement. Well done. All right, the three, the four, the five, and the six are bad numbers. Alex, do you want to roll it or pass it over to Dave? Let's give this up to Dave. All right. All right, Dave, okay. the dice have been passed over to you, so good luck. Thank you. Go ahead. You got another seven, and there's only one way you can get rid of it this time. Which, yes, pl yes, please do. Yeah, the seven by itself, of course, was the only way you could go there. And here is your next question. House of Windsor, the Hanover Hanoverians, the Stuarts. Which royal line was King George III, the monarch who lost the American colonies, descended from? Dave. Uh, Windsor, Windsor. No, it's the Hanoverians. Alex, roll or pass. Let's go into Dave again. All right. Well, Dave, it worked out for you on that last roll. Let's see if you can do it again. All right, shoot. Well, I'd say that worked out pretty good because even though you rolled a number that can't be used, the double means that you get to take another chance. All right, go. A nine, and there's only one way we can do this. Please do. All right, so, Dave, at this point, you've got over $29,500 worth of prizes sitting in front of you. But, of course, like I said a minute ago, you have to win the round in order to keep all of them. Which of, now, which of Tennis's Grand Slam tournaments is played on grass? Dave? Wimbledon. Wimbledon. Wimbledon is right. All right, Dave, what would you like to do? Pass, please. Passing them over to Alex. All right, I need a miracle here. Roll them. Ah, you went one too high. I am sorry. Dave wins game number one. And Dave, a very productive first round for you there. $29,626. Well done. Thank you, I will take it. All right, but of course we are just getting started here. Uh, let's see, call number one still has the trip to Australia and New Zealand. It's got the Kari system, 
Bedroom Group and E-readers, the Audi A5, and now a gas range. So that column is full up, 107,860. Column 2, we're starting off with a massage chair. And column 3, a trip to Africa. Total value, 141,459. And here are the numbers. Column 1 for the hot column this time. So that is the most expensive column up there. And roll the 9 will get you all those. All right, we're starting off with this one in round two. Inscribed on the Liberty Bell, proclaim liberty throughout all the land unto all the blank thereof. Time. Inhabitants. True or false? Diane Lane made her screen debut with Sir Lawrence Olivier in the Oscar-winning film a little romance. Alex? True. That is a true statement. Well done. All right, all right. Let's roll the dice. Eleven. Okay. Let's take out the two and the nine. Two and the nine are out. And here's the next one. Rod Laver, Boris Becker, Don Budge. Who was the first to win the Grand Slam in tennis? And uh, that is Dave. Like Rod Laver? No, I'm sorry. It is Don Budge. All right. Well, Alex, uh, go ahead and give it another roll. All right, let's roll. Seven this time. Three and the four. That's going to get you call number one there. Well done, Alex. But now, let's see if you can hang on to that. What role did James Earl Jones play in the first Star Wars movie in 1977? Dave. He was Darth Vader. He was Darth Vader. Very good. All right, Dave, there's some bad numbers up there. The three, the four, and the ten, to be precise. What do you want to do? I will pass. Passing them over to Alex. All right, roll them. It's a six. There's a couple ways you can go at this here. Uh, just do the six all by itself. All right, so that'll uh, take the 10 and 11 out of play as, as good numbers. Here's your next one. According to the Mahatma Gandhi, live as you were to die tomorrow. Blank as if you were to live forever. Time. Learn as if you were to live forever. True or false? The Pension Grill Parser is a short story set within the John Irving novel The World According to Garp. Alex? False. No, that is a no. true statement. So, Dave, the option is yours once again. And I'll pass once again. All right. Okay, roll on. Seven. Seven by itself. That's the only way you can do that. And here's your next question. Italy. Romania, Slovenia. Which of these countries has a prime minister? Alex. I'll say Romania. Mm -mm. Slovenia. Uh, Dave, same options. Uh, the pass option, please. All right. Alex, need a five, six, eight, or nine to stay in this. Okay, roll them. And you're still alive with an eight. Eight uh, by itself. Yep, which is the uh, only way you were you were able to go on that one. Radar can determine an object's distance and the direction it's traveling. What else is radar primarily used to determine? Dave? Weather? Speed. Alex. Uh, sorry, what was the answer? Speed. 
An object speed. Oh, radar. An yeah. object speed. Yeah, that. Yeah, photo radar. Yeah. All right. I mean, the weather reporters always talk about the, the radar when they're doing their weather report. That's why I was thinking that was the answer. So. Okay. Well, I can kind of understand uh, your thinking on that one, but it's uh, Alex who has the uh, decision to make here. Let's give the dice over to Dave. All right, now, Dave, here's the situation. If you roll five, you'll get column two, but we would have to go to a tiebreaker question to determine the winner of the round. If you get a six, however, you not only win the, the clear of the board, but you would become our new champion. So best of luck. All right, so let's go roll it. One too high again, and Alex is tied up. And Alex, $107,860. That is definitely going to help you uh, help your case on the leaderboard. But we have a sudden death round to play between the two of you, so let's get to that, shall we? Let's do it. All right, trip to Miami and call number one. Column number two, a massage chair and a scooter. We're 3798 and column three has a trip to Africa and bedroom group maid service for a year. 39,799, board value 50,177. And it just occurred to me, Alex, if you win that trip to Miami, you can see our good friend AJ Richards. Right. Anyway. Okay. Here's your first one. The title of Emma Lazarus's poem engraved on a tablet within the pedestal of the Statue of Liberty is entitled The New Blank. Time. The New Colossus. All right, true or false? Ernest Hemingway won the Pulitzer Prize for The Sun Also Rises. Alex. True. No, that is false. It was for the old man in the sea. Dave, roll it. Let's go. And you have a six to start off. Six on its own. All right. And next question. 16th century, 17th century, 18th century. In what century was Isaac Newton born? Alex? I'll say the 18th century. 18th century? No, you went a little too far, Alex. It's the 17th century. So, Dave gets to roll it again. Yes, please. Let me count. And you have an 8 to start off. 8 on its own, please. All right. According to Sports Illustrated in 2005, what's the best sports bar in America? Dave, just Buffalo Wild Wings. Buffalo Wild Wings? The Fours Boston. Okay. Although I'm glad you didn't say full of drunk white people, because then, uh. Yeah. Alex, roll. Let's roll. Let's roll. Eight. All right. Uh, uh, the seven and the one. All right, the seven and the one it is, and all the numbers are still good, players. All right, you're doing good here. In the immortal words of Marcus Aurelius, when you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to blank. Time. To breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. True or false, the only natural predators of savannah lions are warthogs. Alex? False. False is right. 
And of course, uh, how do we know that? Because of the Lion King. That's how. Go ahead and roll, Alex. Alright, let's roll the dice. Well, there's a, there's a double for you, Alex. And of course, you can only take that away with the two on its own. Just the two by itself. And here's our next question. Kevin Costner, Matt Damon, Emma Thompson. Who is the only performer who has won an Oscar for both acting and writing? Dave? Matt, da Matt Damon? Emma Thompson. Alex, the choice is yours. I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass it over to Dave. Okay. 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, and 12 will keep you in it. The 2, of course, gives you a free turn. Good luck. Okay, shoot. Five. That's gonna five on its own. That's the only way you can do it, and it's gonna give you call number two there, Dave. So good job That's there. Good. Who was the German mechanical engineer who invented and sold the first gas-powered automobile? Todd. That was Carl Benz. Carl Benz. All right. Marlon Dietrich said, a king realizing his incompetence can either delegate or abdicate his duties. A blank can do neither. Time. A father can do neither. True or false? In 1779, Captain James Cook was killed at the hands of angry Samoans. Alex? False. He was killed by Hawaiians. False is right. Alright, Alex, what would you like to do? Give him the Dave again. Alright, Dave. All right. 3, 4, 7, 9, and 12 are what you need aside from the two. Okay, roll him up. Between two of the numbers that would have kept it alive for you. Alex is a free time winner. Good game. Nice job. Well, uh, Dave, don't feel too badly because you are walking out of here with over $29,000 worth of cash and prizes. Did you have fun with us? Absolutely. All right. And uh, we were glad to have you on here. And... Uh, well, that's a good amount of money to take with you back to Calgary. You did proud for our country. Thank you very much. Can't wait to again sometime. Thank you very much. Thank All you right, a lot. No problem. And Alex, as for you, we've got a little accounting to take care of here. Your new three-day total, as it stands right now, is... I can't believe I even have to write this total down. $169,397. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> but thankfully you can win a whole lot more than that. Let's hope the third time will be the charm for you here. I hope so. Let's roll. Well, that's a good start. You've got a double, and it's a 12. Okay, uh, four and the eight, please. All right, $2,000 and an insurance marker. Go ahead and roll. Ten. And it's an eight. All right, uh, seven and the one. All right, you're up to four thousand dollars. Go again. Roll. Nine. Nine by, by itself, please. All right, go again. Let's go. Five. There's a couple of ways. Uh, five by, by itself, please. Okay. Go again. 
I would love to have a, an 11. Roll it. Well, you have a 9 instead. Yeah. 3 and the 6. Now you're going to have to roll a 2, which is kind of difficult, but you do have at least two chances to do it, thanks to your marker. Alright, let's roll it. That's not going to do it. Pass me the marker and try again. Go. Oh. Well, same number as the last roll, but at least this time it's a double, so at the very least you have a, have another shot. All right, go. No. Uh. Uh. Well, Alex, if it's any consolation, we got rid of the 69 from your score. You now have 177,397. And we'll have a new challenger for you. Oh, my God.